so this is a, a slightly different way to do your uh, to do your marketing. Um, when you do launch marketing and you're working with somebody else's product, you have to be a lot more ahead. So in other words, you cannot start uh, you cannot start a series of affiliate promotions a night before. You can't start two nights before. You really almost minimum have to start, I'd say, three days ahead of time because you need time to not only review the product, um, you need time to determine what your – if you're going to add resources to it, and you need to try to determine what you're going to say about it. And, and quite honestly, um, if, if you don't tell people – ahead of time that this is coming, it's not going to work as well. I don't care how big your list is. I don't care how good of a copywriter you are. You, you need three days, right? I'm going to say you need three days minimum. So, uh, so again, what are those three days? Number one, you need to review the product. Number two, you need to put together some resources that you're going to add to it. Number three, you need to pre-sell it. Right, all that happens the, the day before. So you have to be ahead. So affiliate launch marketing is different than just affiliate marketing. If I have to do an affiliate promotion, let's say for Aweber, I don't need anything, right? Because I, all I have to do is just kind of pre-sell it, and I can do that in an email. But if you're if you're going to try to get ready for a launch, you you have to do that ahead of time, and uh, you you have to talk to people ahead of time. So in in order to get the product to review, most product vendors are so busy right before the time of the launch, they might not even talk to you, right? It's not personal. So in other words, you're trying to get a hold of them because you want to promote. You think they're ignoring you. It's not because they're ignoring you. It's because they're busy. And typically, they're really finalizing last things. And and if you can get – if you if you can't get them, that's not, that's not unusual. Now, I, I can tell you that from a lot of experience. And, and then you've got to get your promotion ready, right? So in other words, you, you need to think about the angle, and that's probably going to take you the longest. In other words, how your the people who are going to be your subscriber base, how are they going to benefit from it? And and you might need to take a different angle than the actually the product is. You might have a totally different take on how they're going to benefit. Now, obviously, you're really dependent on when somebody else gets to somebody else. When you when when your subscriber base gets to their sales page, you're dependent on that person to have written good copy, right? You're dependent on them to have uh, you know made sure that the people that are going to get to that page are going to convert. But but you can't totally rely on that. Because every time that you you send an email on behalf of a of an affiliate, um, you're going to get people unsubscribe, right? They're just they're just some people who just take offense to that, and they're going to unsubscribe, and and that's and that's not only their prerogative, um, that's that's just the way business is, and some people are going to unsubscribe anyway. So, so an affiliate promotion is a little bit of something that you have to sort of make sure you get some ROI on, and you need to do these things ahead of time to make sure that you get the ROI. The fourth thing is you have to know the product in order to get the most out of it. So obviously, if you're going to pre-sell it, you have to know it. Now, I'm not saying you have to go through it as if you were the customer, but you need to have gone through and you need to understand it. Now, is that is that always going to mean you're going to get a review copy ahead of time? A lot of times you're not. Right? It doesn't have anything to do with you're not rate, you know, you're not being the top, you know, a top affiliate. Sometimes you know the 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 Brent, the vendor, they're getting the product ready, all the way up until the last hour, and they don't have it to give you, so they're not they're not keeping it from you because they don't think you're worth it. They're keeping it from you because it's not ready, and to give you part of it would just kind of give you the wrong picture. So you have to do what you can to, to really know what the product is and how it's going to benefit people if you're going to make the sale. And I'm not I'm not talking about trying to be uh, over the top, uh, you know, trying to be Mister, you know, Mister Integrity and Mrs. M Mrs. Integrity, right? I, I mean, obviously, I assume you're going to do that. I'm talking about the affiliate promotions that you do um, that are going to work the best are going to be those where you know what's in it 
well enough to sell it. Doesn't mean you're going to that doesn't mean you're going to say everything you know. Doesn't mean you're going to write everything you know in the email. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean you're going to say everything in the sales video, but you will know what to say if you know the product. And 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 if if you can take a little bit of time again, a, a few days ahead of time to know what's in it. And if you can't get the product, see what you can find out about it. Right. See if they'll show you some of the videos on the inside. Again, you're promoting for them. Um, You have to know if it's a fit for your community. Right. Now, just because a bunch of people in your community go and they buy a certain kind of product doesn't mean it's right for you to sell to them. And you can get you can always probably get one or two sales of anything. Right. And and again, I mean, you're going to have people as soon as you start approaching when you make. I'd say two or three affiliate sales, people are going to start approaching you saying, hey, you know what? Hey, I've got something coming up. Can you send this out? And whether or not you send it out should be a function not necessarily of, yeah, you you should be making money and you do affiliate marketing and make money. But, But it has to be a function of whether or not it's going to be a fit for them because if it's a good fit for the people that are going to be part of your community, you're going to make the most money from the affiliate promotion. Right. So 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 when when you decide, yes, I'm going to promote it. Yes, I'm going to pre-sell it. You ought to have a good idea how most of the people in your community are going to benefit by it. And it should be consistent with the stuff you've been talking about. It should be a surprise to them. It shouldn't be out of line. And, you know, if you decide you're going to, you know, do, let's say something that's out of character. Let's say that typically you promote information products, instructional products. And then one day you decide, somebody approaches you and says, hey, you know what, I've got this really neat software and here's what it's going to do. You, when you decide you're going to promote that software product, it really does need to be a fit into the context of other stuff you're talking about. It shouldn't be uh, this big surprise because, again, when the difference between you're making sales and not making sales sometimes is, you just confusing people about why they're getting, why are you sending this? You know, why am I getting this? Yes, I get that you want to make money and I get you think that this is going to help me, but how does this fit into everything else you've been talking about? So again, try not to send out stuff that's going to confuse people based on the other stuff you've been talking about. Um, You have to plan to retain your authority. So in other words, every time you send someone off to an affiliate uh, product, Right. This is sort of what I was talking about here at the beginning of the of, of the of the call is you really do have to try to retain your own authority. Right. And sending people to uh, to an affiliate offer is not always going to make you the most money in the long run, because, again, you're really associating authority and good products with someone else in your niche. And, and I, I'm not saying that you never promote anyone, but I'm saying if you're going to promote somebody, you have to do what you can to retain authority. So that needs to be part of your promotion. We'll talk about it here some tonight. And this is a little more than just go find an offer in your niche. There's more to it than that. And so when you start talking about affiliate launch marketing, I'm, I'm going to get into that, what some of this means here uh, tonight. Okay. Um, so so you have a lot of options, right, when you're an affiliate. And so um, – how are you going to get people to your get to people to the sales page? Right. Ultimately, that's what you have to figure out. You how are you going to get the people from not being not looking at their sales page to their sales page? And here is what is very important when you decide whether or not you're going to choose an offer. Right? Um, it's the vendor's job to convert them. It's not your job. And and if you're spending I'd say a day or two uh, creating an affiliate promotion because you're trying to pre- convert somebody else's uh, sales page that they did not do a good job on. You should just be creating the product yourself, right? Choose your offers wisely. If, if you're going to put a lot of work into an affiliate promotion because the, the page, their page isn't going to convert them, then you have to think about whether or not that's going to be worth your time. Now, again, sometimes you're going to do it based on the fact that uh, this this person has a you know, they've got a relationship with you. You sort of know the products are going to be good, um, and, and if you can if you can convert the 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 person who you're sending there 
then they're going to get a good experience on the inside. So maybe their sales, their sales uh, process is not good, but the product is good. And so you decide to send them anyway. But my point to you is that um, because of the fact you need to get some ROI on any affiliate promotion you do, be careful about which, what you promote. Choose the offers wisely. Make sure the vendors, the vendors doing their job and they're doing what they can to convert your, your, your traffic. Right? You're sending your traffic. And whether you paid for it with money or you paid for it with time or you paid for it with effort, you paid for it. And for them not to do their job and convert the buyer is not good on your – it's not good for your part. And it's not even good for the people you're sending there. Um, the other thing is so um, – you either invest time or money into an affiliate promotion. There's an opportunity cost. And this is what I'm talking about. And it's one of those things that doesn't get talked about when in terms of making, uh, doing an affiliate promotion. There's an opportunity cost to everything you do. So in other words, if I put in, let's say, 10 hours on an affiliate promotion, again, for whatever reason, right? I put in, let's say I put in 10 hours putting something together for an affiliate. Is, is that the best use of my time? Could I have put something together myself for, uh, you know, for people on uh, people who are part of our own community rather than, you know, doing all of that work for an affiliate promotion? So, so, so again, I, I want to give you both sides. Affiliate, affiliate marketing is great, but I want you to think about these things because they're important also. Um, you, you can, you can, you can email your list. Um, you can attract people from social media. Again, all this stuff is going to take time. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna attract people from Facebook, from YouTube, uh, and and from other places, right? So you have a lot of options to market as an affiliate. I mean, you can attract some people from paid search, right? You can do what's called launch jacking, or you can try to get your video ranked. Um, but but when you when you when you do this. You have to think about the opportunity cost of how much time it's going to take you and whether or not you can make more money by putting your own offer together, right? So just, just really think about that as to whether or not um, it, it's going to be worth it for you in the long run.